warning others about divorcing and remarrying. Mature Christians now understand Jesus taught marriage is for life. There is to be no divorce. Remarrying someone else is adultery. If there is separation and there is no reconciliation, they are to remain single. Adulterers will not enter the kingdom of God. You will come across multitudes of people in the state of adultery. They are in second, third, even fourth marriages. You need to inform them what Jesus taught because they are on the path of destruction. Adulterers will not enter the kingdom of God. Neither will those in homosexual marriages or ancestral marriages. Please read 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 12. Both Protestant and Catholic denominations do not obey Jesus on his teaching. The Westminster Confession allows divorce and remarriage. The Roman Catholic Church does annulment. What this means is millions of church-going people are walking opposed to Jesus. And failure to warn them could turn out to be sin, especially if God tells you to go warn them. Pray and ask God to guide you and give you boldness if you are having trouble with fear. Once you have completed the task, you will have peace of mind. The issue doesn't bother you anymore until the next encounter with someone else. Because you are going to come across this problem all the time. Direct them to the Word and Jesus. And there are also good books written on the subject that you can gift to people. Till Death Do Us Part by Joseph Webb is a well-written book addressing many modern dilemmas facing people today who come to Christ and find out they're living in adultery, facing the need to repent. He has a website to help people in this matter. But the whole goal is to make sure people are informed because you will be shocked at the number of people who attend church regularly, do not study the Bible, and don't know divorcing and remarrying someone else's sin. You need to inform them what the Bible says. And if you have warned them, you have kept their blood off your hands. Because Paul made sure he taught everything because he didn't want blood on his hands either. Read Acts 18, 6 and 20, 26. He constantly warned about sinning and living ungodly lives, and he called for repentance. Make sure people are informed. God bless.